Hello all the warriors, this is Roy, welcome to Arena and today we're gonna unboxing this the new tools from the 324 the MS cutting mode and we're gonna open it and see what function does this cutting mode has it alright so let's start today's video let's and go <laughs> Okay, so this is the 324, the MS chassis cutting tools. So here we just do a, doing a quick review. So you can see there is a couple like fill holes and that's basically for you to can install the screws. Like see, here's the cutting spot. So just install the screws here. And so when you put your knife and just, uh, sorry, the hand sold and when you try to cut the chassis and it can block your sold and not over cutting, all right? So this is what the purpose for this few holes. And the other thing is, see here's a spot right over here. It's not only this two, over here as well. And what's that hold for is when you are installing the chassis, because you can see the wheel bearing that part, it's a little bit, you know, it's wider. So that's what you do is just for you to place your chassis, okay? And you can hold it and tight it, okay? And just slide it down to the edges and you will stay at the position, okay? So of course here you can see there's two different uh, spots for you to cut and of course it's using for different purpose and we're gonna show you later and also this you can see there's a small this pieces this pieces actually you can remove that you can see see there's a gap so you can remove that of course I'm not removing right now because we might need to use it later okay so today I have there's a few chassis and I'm gonna do a example and show you how to do it and how it looks like all right, so let's start today's video.
Okay, so when you receive the package, it's brand new. Uh, the first thing I uh, I would recommend you to check it because it does happen on me. Is here just to give you an example. See, my uh, hand sole is zero. I think it's zero point two millimeters. So it's very thin already. Well, of course, it's not zero point one because that is too expensive. So I'm, I can't afford. It. <laughs> so here you can see when I put it on this spot, it's very easily to slide it in. Okay, you can slide all the way down to the edge to the end. That's not the problem. But on the other side, you can see it was like stuck over there and not be able to push it. But after I do like a little bit slide and doing like this, and you'd be able to go all to the like all the way to the end. So I would recommend you when you before you start using it and use your hand sole and just do a little bit like this and try to make sure it's not cut over it. Okay. If you cannot see it, use a brush, clean it, and just make sure you're not cutting over it okay because you, you don't want to damage it right so all you want is just move it a little bit and make sure when you are trying to cut your chassis and you can cut it smoothly okay and let's check about this side see this is why this is what happens it totally cannot go down right but this side I believe this side is okay see this side is no problem but this side I have to do the same thing but it would be better if you just uh, follow the line let's say like this of course watch your fingers I don't want you to get cut yourself um, okay let me find a good spot okay and make sure okay okay slide it in and try to okay you can see here Okay. I don't think we have to cut all the way because there is a spot here. We only need to cut right over here and it should be good. So it doesn't have to go all the way in. But when you're doing like uh, the bumper under uh, to uh, make your like uh, chassis lower, then I think that's the only thing this way. This one you have to go all the way down. Okay, this is number one. Okay, the second thing you have to uh, uh, be careful before you're doing it is uh, when you're cutting it because the front uh, you have there's a spot for you to cut the front the bumpers uh, but after you cut it you have to fix the sight on the bumpers and to make it is like uh, shorter so then you'll be able to fit in this tools okay and then the other thing is for the rear part the rear chassis uh, once you put it on actually you will real you will realize the lines over here is doesn't uh, match for your cutting line because so if you see we cut it you'll cut on the holes so uh, either you have to using a hand sole to cut it by yourself or using the cutters or either using the Dremel to cut it first and then use it uh, on the tools. Okay, that's the second. Okay, so for the third part is this uh, cutting tools is basically designed for the MS or the MSL chassis. So if you're having like this one, I have like the N04 or the T04 chassis like this one. Um, I think there's because there's a three different kind of uh, setup that you can choose. Uh, but I think there's only the one is using the 620 and that you'll be able to put on this tools. If you choose 520 or the other one, the extension one, uh, it doesn't works on this tools. Okay, that's the third part. Okay, so for the fourth part is you can see there is a, the hole for you to install the screws. Um, but I would suggest to you before you're using it, using the screws to put it in and see it's going to stuck over there. Uh, otherwise you have to using the screwdrivers and to tight it uh, but if you are lazy you don't want to do that you can using like 2.0 millimeter hand drill and just try to make the hole to lose the hole a little bit like well of course not make the hole bigger it's just make the hole it's it won't stack the screws over there because otherwise you have to using the screwdriver and just tight it and lose it and that's take a little bit long time so here that's the force part and you might need to know before you start using these tools okay so when you are start making the chassis here I'm gonna tell you about the correct step to make if you want to using all the function on this cutting tools so here is the step first what we have to do is just taking the chassis okay and then put it on then cut the front bumper first this is the first step so first step cut the first the front bumper and then fix the side left and right and to make it 
is not too white, then it'd be able to fit the tools, all right? So this is the first step. And the second step is do this first, okay? If you wanna do this, okay, to cut the front bumper and to make the uh, bumper lower, uh, this is what you have to do first. And then, because the reason why, I can show you right here, when you install it, put it on top, start cutting it, you can see back over here, there's two bolts and it's touching the tools. And even though you're holding it and you won't move, okay? But if you do other step first, which means it's like, for example, if you do like this, see here is cutting, cut, cut already. So here's higher, here's lower. So when you put it on, all the way down, but you can realize at the back, there's a big gap. So when you're holding it, and especially when you're cutting it, it will move, see, it will move. So you won't, you will not be able to cut it straight. Okay, so this is the, that's why I said this is the second step. It's very, very important, okay? So this is the second step. So after you cut it, like after you're done about this part, then you start cutting on this two spots. Okay, so cut it and then put it over here. Okay, and to put the screws and put it over here and then cut it, just like uh, in the video, how I cut it. Okay, sorry, here, yep. Then when you hold it, uh, you can hold this using your two fingers and to hold it down and push it and then push your heart, uh, sorry, hand up a little bit. So make this spot is hitting this two spot here. So you push all the way down and then pull it up and make sure this two spot is touching here. So then you start cutting it, okay? So that's the completed, complete step for you, how to using these tools. Because once you cut it, like I show you, once you do this first, and you, uh, you will having a hard time to do here, okay? Okay, all right, so next, we're gonna talk about the center part. So the center part, when you're doing it, just make sure when you press down, uh, if you have a broken chassis, using the broken chassis to do this first, because it's brand new tools. So when you try to put it in and pull it out, then you will having a hard time to pull it out. Cause see the hole is not, it has to do a couple times. Okay. Cause now after I cut it, it was okay. But here I give you an example. What happens here? You can see here, you can see the white spot here. Okay. Because when I trying it, I put it on and it was uh, very tight. I won't be able to take it out. So I was trying to pull it and it's pulled too hard, so it makes my pulse bend. Okay, so that's the thing you have to be careful. It will be better if you have a like a used used chassis and just try to do it a couple times and to make this hole is like not you know you won't stuck over there. You know, it's uh, it will be it will help you and make sure your chassis won't get damaged. Or uh, the other way is do it slowly, like pull it out like uh, evenly. Okay, don't just like me like that and that would damage your chassis. All right, so basically that's everything. Uh, the front and the rear, the step is exactly same. Um, the only thing is just the, the rear part, you have to cut the bumper as well, but you have to cut like in the video I already told, uh, by hand saw, whatever, cutter. So that's uh, basically everything about these tools. Uh, but I still have to say, even though there's something you have to do about it, but it's still like I, I, here I wanna say, it's really good tools because before you need a lot of tools and to be able to do this all the things like this but now you only need one and you can do all of those okay so that's uh that's how it is and the other thing i want to talk about is when you're trying to uh cut this part if you want to cut it lower you can put these pieces back so you will make the chassis higher so then you can cut more so it depends on how low that you want to set your car, the brake that is. Okay, so this is today's video. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share this video. All right, thank you so much. Don't forget to press the bell. So if I have the new video, then you will know it right away. Thank you, I'll see you next time.